Hello and welcome to this exciting journey where we explore the reality of living on Mars. In this video, we will dive deep into the details of what life is really like on the Red Planet. So, buckle up and get ready for an adventure. Let's start with the basics. The surface of Mars is a harsh and unforgiving place with a thin atmosphere that provides little protection from radiation and extreme temperature fluctuations. But despite these challenges, humans have been dreaming of living on Mars for decades, and now that dream is closer to becoming a reality. First, let's talk about what it takes to get to Mars. The journey to the Red Planet is a long and dangerous one, spanning millions of miles through the vacuum of space. It takes about seven months to travel to Mars, and during that time, astronauts must endure cramped conditions, limited resources, and the constant danger of equipment failure. But once they arrive, they'll be rewarded with a breathtaking view of the Martian landscape. Now, let's talk about what it's actually like to live on Mars. The first thing you'll notice is that the gravity on Mars is only about 38% of what we experience on Earth. This means that everything feels much lighter, which can be both a blessing and a curse. On the one hand, it makes it much easier to move around and do physical work. On the other hand, it can be disorienting and make it difficult to adjust to the new environment. Another major challenge of living on Mars is the lack of breathable air. The atmosphere on Mars is mostly carbon dioxide, which means that humans can't breathe it. To solve this problem, we'll need to create an artificial atmosphere inside our habitats that's similar to Earth's. This will require a complex system of air filtration and circulation, as well as a steady supply of oxygen. Of course, there are also the practicalities of day-to-day -day life on Mars. Living on a planet with no natural resources means that everything must be brought from Earth or manufactured on site. This includes food, water, clothing, and building materials. It also means that waste management is a critical issue, as there's no easy way to dispose of trash and other waste products. But despite these challenges, there are many exciting opportunities for exploration and discovery on Mars. The planet is rich in minerals and other resources that could be used to support human life, and its unique geology offers a wealth of scientific insights into the history of our solar system. One of the most exciting aspects of living on Mars is the potential for terraforming, the process of transforming a planet's environment to make it more habitable. This could involve things like melting the ice caps to release water vapor into the atmosphere, or introducing plants and other organisms to help produce oxygen and create a more Earth-like environment. But before we can even begin to think about terraforming, we'll need to establish a sustainable human presence on Mars. This means building habitats that can withstand the harsh Martian environment, developing efficient resource management systems, and maintaining a constant supply of food, water, and other necessities. Despite the many challenges, the prospect of living on Mars is an exciting one, filled with endless possibilities for exploration and discovery. So, if you're up for the challenge, why not join us on this incredible journey to the Red Planet? Who knows, you might just be a part of the team that makes history and paves the way for the next generation of Martian pioneers. That's a great question. If you have already been chosen to go to Mars, your journey will begin with the launch from Earth. You'll board a spacecraft along with a crew of other astronauts and then spend the next seven months traveling through space towards Mars. During the journey, you'll need to keep yourself occupied and maintain your physical and mental health through daily exercise and activities. Once you arrive on Mars, the first step will be to establish a base of operations. This will likely involve setting up living quarters, a laboratory for scientific research, and a greenhouse to grow food. Depending on the mission objectives, you may also need to set up mining operations to extract minerals and other resources from the Martian soil. Living on Mars will be very different from life on Earth. 
You'll need to wear a spacesuit whenever you venture outside, and your living quarters will be much smaller and more cramped than what you're used to. However, with the right preparation and mindset, it's possible to adapt and thrive in this new environment. One of the most important aspects of life on Mars will be staying connected to the outside world. This means maintaining communication with mission control back on Earth, as well as other astronauts who may be living on Mars at the same time. You'll also need to have access to the Internet to stay connected with family and friends back home. If you're planning to have children on Mars, that will present a whole new set of challenges. The first generation of Martian children will need to be raised in a completely different environment from what we're used to on Earth, with limited resources and a completely different way of life. However, with careful planning and preparation, it's possible to provide a safe and nurturing environment for children to grow up in. Getting back to Earth from Mars will be even more challenging than the journey to Mars. You'll need to time your departure carefully to take advantage of the orbital mechanics of the two planets, and then spend another seven months traveling back through space. However, if you make it back safely, you'll have the incredible experience of being one of the first humans to live on another planet, and the knowledge and skills you gained will be invaluable for future space exploration missions. Certainly. Living on Mars for an extended period of time will have a significant impact on the human body, both in the short term and the long term. One of the most immediate challenges is the effect of Martian gravity on the body. Mars has only about one-third the gravity of Earth, which means that astronauts will experience significant muscle and bone loss if they don't exercise regularly. To combat this, astronauts will need to maintain a strict exercise regimen to keep their muscles and bones strong. This will likely involve a combination of strength training and cardiovascular exercise, as well as special equipment designed to simulate the effects of gravity. Over the long term, living on Mars could also have a number of other effects on the human body. For example, exposure to cosmic radiation and other forms of space radiation could increase the risk of cancer and other health problems. To mitigate this risk, astronauts will need to be shielded from radiation as much as possible, either through physical barriers or medications. Another potential effect of living on Mars is the adaptation of the human body to the new environment. Over time, our bodies may evolve to better handle the unique challenges of living on a different planet. This could include changes in our bone density, muscle mass, and other physical characteristics. Scientists are still studying the potential effects of living on Mars, but it's clear that it will have a profound impact on human biology. In addition to the physical effects, living on Mars will also have a significant impact on the new generation of humans born on the planet. These individuals will grow up in a completely different environment from what we're used to on Earth, with different social norms, cultural practices, and even languages. It's likely that they will have a unique perspective on the universe and our place in it, and could potentially contribute to new ideas and innovations in science, technology, and culture. In conclusion, living on Mars will have a profound impact on the human body and the next generation of humans born on the planet. While there are many challenges associated with living on Mars, it's an exciting opportunity to explore and push the boundaries of what's possible for human life in space. With careful planning and preparation, we can help ensure the safety and well-being of those who venture to the Red Planet, and pave the way for a future where humanity is a multiplanetary species. The question of why Mars is the most popular target for human exploration is a complex one, with many factors contributing to the decision. One of the most important reasons is that Mars is the most Earth-like planet in our solar system, with a number of key characteristics that make it a good candidate for human exploration. Firstly, Mars has a similar day-slash-night cycle to Earth, with a day that lasts roughly 24.5 hours. This means that humans would not need to drastically adjust their sleep schedules or circadian rhythms in order to live on Mars. Secondly, Mars has a relatively thin atmosphere, 
which allows for the surface to be more easily explored and potentially even terraformed in the future. The atmosphere also provides some protection against solar radiation, although it is still a significant concern for human health on the planet. Thirdly, Mars has abundant resources that could potentially be used to sustain human life, including water ice in the polar caps and subsurface minerals that could be used for construction and manufacturing, and potentially even a source of geothermal energy. Fourthly, Mars is close enough to Earth that we can send robotic missions to explore and prepare for human missions, but far enough away that the journey is still a significant challenge that requires advanced technology and planning. Finally, Mars has captured the human imagination for centuries, with countless works of science fiction and speculation about the potential for life on the planet. The prospect of discovering signs of ancient microbial life or even finding evidence of current life on Mars is a tantalizing prospect for scientists and the public alike. All of these factors, and more, make Mars the most promising target for human exploration and potentially even colonization. While there are certainly challenges associated with living on Mars, the potential rewards in terms of scientific discovery, exploration, and pushing the boundaries of what's possible for humanity make it an exciting and worthwhile endeavor. The question of whether or not it is possible to live on Mars and establish a permanent human presence on the planet is a matter of ongoing debate among scientists, policymakers, and the public. While there are certainly many challenges associated with living on Mars, there are also many reasons to believe that it is possible. One of the key factors that makes Mars a feasible target for human exploration and colonization is the advances in technology that have been made in recent decades. With improvements in rocketry, robotics, and material science, we are now better equipped than ever before to send humans and equipment to Mars and establish a presence on the planet. Another important factor is the progress that has been made in our understanding of Mars itself. Thanks to decades of robotic exploration by NASA and other space agencies, we now have a much better understanding of the planet's geology, atmosphere, and potential habitability than we did just a few decades ago. This knowledge is helping us to design better missions and equipment that can operate on the planet and sustain human life. However, there are also many challenges and unknowns that need to be addressed before we can establish a permanent human presence on Mars. These include issues such as the harsh radiation environment on the planet, the need to develop sustainable sources of food and water, and the potential psychological and social effects of living in a confined and isolated environment for long periods of time. There are also financial and political considerations that need to be taken into account. Establishing a permanent presence on Mars will require significant investments in technology, infrastructure, and personnel, and it may take decades to fully realize the goal of a self-sustaining colony on the planet. There are also questions about who will pay for such a mission and how it will be organized and governed. Despite these challenges and unknowns, many experts believe that it is possible to establish a permanent human presence on Mars in the coming decades. While it will require significant investments of time, money, and effort, the potential rewards in terms of scientific discovery, exploration, and the expansion of human civilization into the cosmos make it a goal worth pursuing. In conclusion, the prospect of establishing a permanent human presence on Mars is an exciting and ambitious goal that has captured the imaginations of scientists, policymakers, and the public alike. While there are certainly many challenges and unknowns associated with such an endeavor, there are also many reasons to believe that it is possible. Advances in technology, robotics, and material science, as well as our growing understanding of Mars itself, have made it more feasible than ever before to send humans to the planet and potentially even establish a self-sustaining colony there. However, there are also significant challenges that need to be addressed, including the need to develop sustainable sources of food and water, address the effects of radiation exposure, and address the psychological and social impacts of living in a confined and isolated environment for extended periods of time. 
Despite these challenges, many experts believe that the potential rewards of exploring and colonizing Mars are worth pursuing. This includes the potential for scientific discovery, the expansion of human civilization beyond Earth, and the opportunity to inspire a new generation of explorers and scientists. Ultimately, whether or not we are able to establish a permanent human presence on Mars will depend on our ability to overcome these challenges and work together as a global community to achieve this audacious goal. Thank you for watching. Let me know your opinion in the comment below. The like and the share are a great way to support, plus the subscribe.